Hello, welcome to my blog Sahla Parveen and today I'm going to speak about a beautiful topic. What you have to do before starting 2021. So we have around five to six days next and what we have to do in the last of 2020. What all I do personally to, to start with a beautiful beginning of 2021. So this is a time I just have an introspection, okay? So one thing is introspection. Think about the things that you have done in 2020. How was the year? What are your learnings? What are your failures? What you have, you know, gained to go forward? All the knowledge you have gained or even if it was a whole difficult years, still there are some good things that you can be thankful for. So you need to find and write down or get a clarity about the things that you learned or 2020 have given i know 2021 was a difficult year for most of us i mean almost all of us but still in between all this there was some good thing for me personally i started making gratitude as my attitude in 2020 because this was one of the most difficult year that I have faced. So from all the difficulties that I have faced, I just started practicing gratitude as my attitude. Okay. Now, the second thing is practice minimalism. Now, what is minimalism? Minimalism is living with the things that only you need. Things, relationships or anything that you need. Be happy with the minimal things. Okay. So the minimalism depends on each person is different. But uh, for me personally, started practicing minimalism was something amazing. So uh, before every year start, what I do is I just keep my home clean and tidy and make sure that all the things what I don't have to take for future i will just let it go like the things that you have been used for last six months to have taken a lot of space in your home so you know uh, we always you know say about cleaning the home what about a home that is always clean how is that possible when you have minimal things when you have the things that you only need and not the things that is actually you know we have a tendency of purchasing a lot of things so let that things go give it to the people that they really need uh, some things are an, at our home and we wouldn't have used for you know last uh, four years five years and it's still there let it go so that is one thing i'm going to do you know in this in this five days clean the place wherever you're staying maybe it's a hostel maybe it's a, a rental home maybe it's your own home whatever it is make sure that you are living with the things that you need that actually serves you that you are happy not the dress you are keeping for five years and you haven't yet worn let it go because when that space come a lot of more good energy can let in that space and it's easy to manage and clean so so this uh, you know i i'm going to launch a book on minimum in 2021 because practicing minimalism in relationship and in everything have made me a much stronger soul now this is a very important point that you have to practice now the third is just have a rough planning of you know uh, 2021 uh, that's beautiful to have a you know planning about you know what you have to achieve what you have to get for me i have done even a minimal planning for 2021 uh, focusing on just one goal and you know doing everything to make that thing happen rather than like till uh, last year i had a lot of goals which i want to achieve but 2020 as pandemic had started most of the goals i couldn't uh, make it but still few of the things I was able to bring into life. So next year, I'm just going to focus on one goal and I, I will be working on it completely. So what are you going to make it happen for the next year? Now, the fourth thing is, uh, just say thank you for all the beautiful things that came to your life in 2020, you know. So when you fill your heart or your mind with gratitude, fill your life with gratitude, it's much easier to go forward for seeing a beautiful future, you know. Most of the time we live with a lot of regrets, pains and the things that didn't happen. So when you focus on those things, those things expand. So I want you to focus on little things at least that you can be thankful for so that you can start 
a beautiful 2021. Now, for the people who are setting the goals, what I want to say is one beautiful tick, uh, trip, uh, tip I want to tell you is that if you have set a goal, start doing it, you know, uh, today itself, like a habit change. If you want to wake up at five o'clock, don't wait uh, for 2021 first day to wake up. If you want to start practicing a habit, you need to implement it today, right now. Whatever the date you are writing it down, just do it. So this is uh, the most important things I believe that you have to do uh, before, you know, coming for the new year because uh, a clean and tidy home, a clean and beautiful mind, a beautiful thought process and a gratitude mind and a wonderful goal to achieve for 2020 can actually, 2021 can actually help you to get that goals easily achieved in your life. Okay, thank you so much. And one more reminder for the people who haven't yet ordered my companion planner workbook, I have given the link in the description box. Please do go and check out and get your copies right now for an amazing 2021. Thank you so much and love you all.